for tomorrow. Is tomorrow Saturday? No, it's the first day of school. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to that. But it's mandatory. Ooh. St. Louis native Phyllis Smith hitting the classroom with Cameron Diaz in the new movie Bad Teacher. Phyllis plays Cameron's best friend at the school, trying her best to get her fellow teacher to shape up. And Phyllis joins us now in the real world. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. And welcome home. I know. This is home. This is actually my home. South St. Louis proud right here. Mm -hmm. Cleveland High School. There it is. Whoop, yep. whoop. Cleveland High. You are so funny oh, in this movie. <laughs> I'll high five you. Okay. <laughs> You're so funny in this movie. Thank you. I'm t I know this is going to embarrass you, but scene stealer right here. Yeah. yeah. Cameron Diaz went on and on about you, about how great you are in this movie. I love her. Yeah? I paid her to say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got a tough job in this movie because you're trying to get her to straight, straighten up, and she really is a bad teacher. Well, um, she's a. I think the teachers, um, they should use bad teacher as a prototype for all teachers to um, just relax and show how to deal with all the, the stress, you know, because mm -hmm. she hits it a little bit. Mm -hmm. and, uh -huh, yeah, a yeah, yeah. little, little raunchy a lot, there, A lot Cameron. of stuff going on. <laughs> <laughs> a lot going on. You just came from the very glitzy and glamorous premiere in New York. I most certainly did. How yes, was it, that? It was there you are. Look at you. Yeah. Woohoo! Oh, pretty good. Well, I don't, I don't look fantastic, but the premiere was fantastic. What was that like? It was, I was, I really said, turned to someone and said, please pinch me to make sure that this is real because I couldn't believe that I was actually there. Yeah. There with, of course, Justin Timberlake I'm, and Cameron Diaz, your co-stars. Yes. My co-stars? No, I'm their co-star. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's been the most surprising thing working with those huge stars like that? How real they are. Yeah. Cameron, there are not enough you know different adjectives to describe how great she is she's professional smart sweet when she walks in the room she lights it up mm -hmm. Justin I can tell you the very first day that I was on set with Justin uh, we found ourselves in a lunchroom by ourselves we had been released for lunch and so I'm getting my salad and he walks in and I go oh to, what do I do now mm -hmm. you know, do I approach <laughs> him do I not approach him right. you know? and uh, he he took me to ease right away. He said, hey, Phyllis, do you mind if I join you? And I went, oh, okay. <laughs> and so he sat down and we started talking about family and where he's from and just, you know, made it a great. How cool is yeah, that? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Well, and Cameron, when I interviewed her at the, at the junket for this movie a couple of weeks ago, as I said, she went on and on about you when Sony invited me out to L.A. And I want to play you a clip of Cameron Diaz and what she said about you. Oh, you ready? Okay. Here we go. <laughs> she's unbelievable. I mean, she's brilliant the, like the woman is like a master you watch her and it's like it's almost like when you know her when uh, when you get to know who she is and you see what she's doing it literally is um uh, it's, it's it's astounding like i it takes my breath away what do you think about that oh, i love her even more <laughs> <laughs> she said, Phyllis, what they would do is that they would have the director do take after take of your stuff because they just wanted to see you do it and laugh. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's what she told me. <laughs> I just thought I was terrible and I needed more work. Oh, okay. is that it? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. You know, an another thing that people may not know about you is you were a St. Louis cheerleader back I in the day. Yes, very far back in the day, yes. Uh, I think it was like the second year that the Big Red Line existed. Uh-huh. In the 70s. 70s something. Yeah, something. Yeah. Jim Hart was a quarterback. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is yes. That right? Oh, did I blow your cover? <laughs> yes. I'm Jim Hart was a, and Deerdorf was around and all those guys. <laughs> Got to ask you real quick. Yes. Office, Steve Carell not back. Give us the scoop, Phyllis. Who's oh, going to be there? Damn. I, oh, did I say damn? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Live TV. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I said darn. Darn it. Darn it. Yeah. Um, and I don't even cuss. Where did that come from? Uh, my mother's going to kill me. Uh, <laughs> Steve Carell, we miss him. I do not know who's going to take Replace his place. Okay. I do, and I'm not a liar. <laughs> <laughs> I do not know. All right. Uh, so uh, will you tell me when I see you like on the next red carpet? Because that's where I get my information. I sure will. Okay. I will fill you in, fellas. Okay. <laughs> nice talking to you as Thank always. You. Thank you for inviting me. You bet. Thanks for coming in. Okay. Bad Teachers, the movie, it opens tomorrow. And, of course, you can catch Phyllis and everybody else on The Office every weeknight here on Fox 2 at 11.05. Thank you. Thanks, Phyllis. Thank you. Back to you guys. It's possible.